Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we're playing Kaisa on our Platinum ELO uh, off meta to master tier account. Uh, playing AP Kaisa, it's been something that I wish was not off meta because there was a moment when they did buff it and a lot of people were playing inside of high ELO. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. I enjoy high poke. Um, not really the easiest game to play this pick into. In fact, it's going to be probably really damn hard to play it just because of how many threats there are with hard engage, um, etc. So the runes that I'm taking are going for Halo Blades, so that will make our early game a little bit easier. Some people, when they do play Pikaisa, go for the first strike rune, which will scale better and give you a uh, bonus gold so you can get your items sooner, but you will basically sacrifice your lane. And if the person knows what they're doing, they could really punish you hard. So at least I can like kind of trade back a little bit with, you know, being able to auto attack three times in a row very quickly um, and playing around that. We also have Cole because I'm hopefully just going to be able to scale. Kaisa's online at two items, so that's our main goal. Uh, just reach two. Uh, every single Kai'Sa auto attack applies Plasma, which, as you continue applying it, deals even more and more damage, so... Right there, we'll just do the quick three autos, just to poke her a little bit. And yeah, we'll just uh, play back here. Cole gives us on hit health back as well. Go for another auto attack when she goes for that minion there, there's no really reason not to. I actually messed up my auto attack there, but once again, pretty decent trade. We have TP in case something goes bad mid, because uh, if I somehow mess up, it could spell disaster for the rest of the game. Damn, I actually got pretty decent poke on that guy. Um, he's a little bit chunked. I was almost worried that he was going to go over the wall on me. Because if I accidentally step up too far and he does get on top of me with red buff, I could maybe die. What your Q does is it just damages everything around you. The more isolated the target is, the more damage it will deal. Uh, so you can also use it to last hit. So whenever minions are low, a bunch of them, I just press Q to help with that. Looks like Nocturne's going for an invade. Do I have my junglers bound to my T? I don't. So I guess we can just look. It looks like he's probably going to kill him. Plus, I don't think Annie can actually rotate. I wanted to get four, so that's why I backstep for a second. He's probably gone, so I'm just going to let him go. You never know, though. I'll just throw it. I was thinking about if I wanted to get closer because it looked like he was posturing forward as if he was going to do that. Like, go back in. So I didn't want to immediately throw it, but at the same time I wanted to do it as because the minion wave was coming. And if when he's behind the minion wave, that kind of ruins my opportunity to maybe go for him. This Annie has no potions left. We'll just trade her a little bit. She's kind of running out of mana, so it's not really that big of a deal, uh, I think, taking these trades. Master Yi should be bot side, so I'll just put down a ward, so we'll be able to see if he ever is uh, sitting inside that brush looking for us. In fact, we even saw him go bot side, so... I'm not going to use my E or anything, because I'll run out of mana pretty damn fast. She has no TP herself, so she's in a pretty damn bad spot here. I'm just trying to keep up the pressure. If anything, she'll send her jungler mid. If she's begging for it, like spam pinging, and then if she does that, then I just get to uh, basically waste the jungler's time. Damn, one more auto attack might kill her. When you fully proc all of your plasma, you deal percent missing HP. If she uses her stun and the wave is in a good spot, I might be able to kill. Yeah, the Annie is in such a bad position here. She should probably just reset. But the thing is, I won't let her reset, so... 
You can stun me if you want. I think I'd die. I mean, she used her flash and ignite. I don't know if I could have really changed anything. I was trying to let her stun as the minions were still there because I don't take tower aggro immediately. The tower needs to kill the minion, and then afterwards, that's when uh, I would be aggroed. So I was intentionally trying to let her hit me, but she wouldn't, which honestly was smart by her to wait until the end. I don't know if she did that on purpose or not. Nice. This game already looking so doomed for the enemy team, but you never know. With throws... So I'm just going to TP back mid. My wave is pretty bad because it was slow pushing towards her. So I'm just going to fix it because minion wave was bigger. Now, when I say full AP Kaisos, be, oh my gosh, you're not going full AP because you build a mermana. Well, yeah, basically you should always build mermana because you'll run out of mana if you don't. Plus, uh, Kaisa on her W scaling is insanely high on W for the damage. So... Not only does Mermana give you that on-hit damage whenever you land an ability, which is super damn important, uh, it lets you evolve your Q, which lets you also scale off of your AP ratio, which deals way more damage, so... AP Kaisa normally always goes for Mermana. It just works better than going for, like, only AP. Otherwise, you just won't deal any damage. So we'll just poke her under tower with our W a bit. Jace is actually losing top, so... Nocturne is currently taking this guy's red buff. What our ultimate does is anybody that has plasma applied to them, we can ulti them to a uh, position around them. I tried hitting her there, but it didn't work. I should probably be harassing more. Uh, I'm not... I don't think Annie necessarily plays very aggressive, so... I'll use my Q there. Because she was in range for it. The only risk is being stunned and then ganked, in my opinion. I feel like her damage is not really the best. Plus, she also used her flash as well, so... Am I being ganked? No? Tibbers is so annoying. I feel like Tibbers' movement speed is kind of broken. Like, being able to not even run away from that is kind of ridiculous. I'm not going to go for an outplay angle. I think that it's unnecessary. If anything, just because I'm winning inside a CS, plus I started something that's a coal, where if I get 100 stacks, I get back basically the gold cost of buying this, um, will be fine with me. There's no way that I can land this right. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll just kill her. I mean, she went for plate really hard, so because she's flashless, it's a pretty easy kill. Hit him hard. But we're still kind of just waiting on reaching two core. Your E uh, makes it so you just get bonus movement speed and then you get attack speed afterwards but when you do cast it you cannot uh, attack during it so when i e like this i can't do anything until it's over master yi is bot braum is really good versus master yi because all you have to do is just tag him and then auto attack oh my god they actually outplayed him nice Oh my god, please. I wanted the plate so bad I greeted for it. I'm just trying to get as much gold as possible. If I finish my Merman, I'm going to have... S Wait, can Nocturne ulti this? Mm, he's already going top. I guess not. Jace actually might be dead unless Nocturne helps him. I'll, I'll rotate up too, just in case. Maybe Nocturne can't even beat Jax. I didn't even have to use my ult. You have to be careful about this, Nocturne. Should be fine. I can just run away. And use Flash as well. I knew that something was up with, like, if, if we might uh, stay too long. If they try to dive me, that it's probably going to end up in a one-for-one one at best. So it's not that big of a deal. You can try it if you want.
Nautilus was around, so I'm just assuming that he's still up here because we did see him. Okay, we'll just buy. We'll go for AP immediately. So you want to get your Evolved. How Evolved works is your Q is bonus AD, your W is AP, your E is attack speed. We don't care about the attack speed. We're not going to go Nasher's Tooth. I don't care for it. Uh, to get W, all we need is 100 AP, which is Blasting Wand and three Amp Tomes, or you can just do Lost Chapter plus two. Otherwise, you have to finish your Luden's Tempest plus also uh, build another item on top of that. So sometimes it takes kind of a while to turn online. That's like the worst part of, about playing AP Kaisa. It takes a while for you to reach the core items necessary to make it so you can W spam because your evolved W makes it so whenever you land one on a champion, it reduces the cooldown by 77%. So it's basically a spammable ability as long as you land it. And then normally you can kill people with like three of them as Pope. So my coal is finished, so I got big uh, money there. Also, I think uh, Annie's bot. Yeah, I was going to say. Maybe I can kill Draven, though. Yeah, I mean, Draven's dead, but it sucks that everybody else died. It's not bad for me, though. Because I have Treasure Hunter, so because I was able to go bot, I just got a bunch of gold there. So we're going to be able to probably evolve our W basically now. I will make a difference here. I have to. We'll just shove this out. Go for a reset. Another thing about going for Ludens is it's going to give us um, more mana, which then feeds back into the Mana Mune, giving us enough AD with only Mana Mune to get the Evolve, because if you don't go for this, it's not going to actually give you enough AD. You do need to stack it quite a bit. As you can see, I still need to get more stacks. In fact, am I going to sell the coal now because we can't even finish it and buy Ionian? I really like Ionian better than... Um, some other items because oh wow everybody's already dead nice like instead of sorks because the issue with ap kaisa is when you land your w and reduce the cooldown by 77 percent sometimes it's not enough to double stack it because if you detonate the plasma you have that percent missing hp damage so it's kind of lame when the stacks disappear right when you use your W again. So this will just make it so I have a even easier time making it so when I do consistently land my ability, it'll be easier to uh, always detonate the, the stacks by maxing them. So I'll just go bot here. Level 13 is a pretty important spike as well. Oh wow, they didn't continue chasing. I was going to rotate over to help out with whatever fight because I'm already so fed that I can just kind of play as a standard AD carry at this point. I have my W evolved, so I'll just go buy it now. We're just going to buy an Amp Tome. We don't care about finishing the Ludens at this point. Tiny throw, because he died. So W evolved. The thing is, it's... Okay, well, another throw. Um, We don't really turn online until level 13, because level 13 is when it's finally maxed, so it goes from 11.6 second cooldown to 9, as you can see. So we'll just immediately go on that guy. I landed one auto attack on him, which gave us the plasma, so when I use my ultimate, we can just uh, use our W. You can cast your abilities in the middle of using your ultimate so what you want to do is put your cursor on top of the target when you use your ultimate and press w as you cast your ultimate to make it so as you're mid-air like jumping over you can um catch them that's like a super important trick to sometimes catch people off guard it can get you kills 
during the late game because what you want to do is you want to land your W on somebody and then position yourself to land another W and then just do it. Let's see how much damage this deals if it lands. About 350 damage. We don't even have Mermana yet. Throw it again. Land it again. Now he's half HP. Throw it again. Land it again. He's 1 HP. Bears kills. Yep. Landed it three times in a row. So, he dies. 350 damage each time. Now we have Q Evolve because we finished our Ludens, which gives us more mana. The Q does physical damage, so it's not really that important to have this, but this does make it so I fire way more missiles, so the damage is just way higher. Uh, I'll just use W here. She might be there. Saul is Q her. She should be dead. It looked like she was going for a reset. As you can see, the wave clear is now really good. I mean, we're really turning online now. Master Yi is just going for Rift. I'll start rotating over to that. Whenever you miss a W is the worst, so if I miss this, it's really bad. Ow. You hurt pretty bad, dude. The thing is that this guy's trying to stop me from rotating. It's super scary. Because if I get hit by like a Nautilus hook, or Nautilus ultimate, I could die. This guy's kind of behind creeps too, so it's... I'm just going to run away from him. I'm not going to bother fighting him. Just keep on using Ws. If it ever misses, we just wait for the next one. Continue wave clearing versus him. Now that he's running towards his team, we can just fish for Ws on him. We just got him. So that's the trick that I was talking about. Dang, dude. I was trying to reposition so I wouldn't die. but that. Oh, wait. Nautilus got it. That's huge. The support got my massive shutdown. But yeah, with your ultimate being level 11, so level 2 ultimate, the distance is really damn far. So <laughs> what I did is I did the W cast mid R to make it so it's basically undodgeable because you're not really prepared for Kai'Sa to immediately jump on you like that. Um, the next item will be a Shadow Flame or a Death Cap because we just want high AP numbers. Whenever you land your W, we're doing big damage. And then also that affects the missing HP. The lower somebody is, the more it's going to deal. So normally... As I mentioned before, if you land two of them, you should theoretically just kill almost anyone. Even tanks during late game can't really manage the, uh... I was about to TP, thank god I didn't. I didn't realize how weak this, uh, Jace was. He died way faster than I expected. I'm used to Jace's not immediately, uh, getting one shot. Okay, just do the dragon. It sucks that we're losing, like, top tower here, probably, but... Not really much that we can do about that. This W spam. Our cooldown is way lower now, so... It's a lot more manageable. Spam city, yep. Indeed, dude. It's like I'm playing Earth as long as I continue landing it. Annie was rotating topside. She might actually be, like, in this brush pretty soon. No, we would have seen her, actually. Never mind. She's doing the Scuttle Crab. Was doing the Scuttle Crab. I thought she was going to continue rotating up, but she didn't. All this full tea for him. I didn't really want to use my ultimate, but I just want to make sure that he dies. Mermana spike is going to be absolutely huge. I'll W to help out my team up here. Just press R on him, and if she, if he pressed R on her a little bit earlier, I might have been able to actually get her. That's okay though. I should have been more patient and expected him to use it that way. It's my fault. Nice, got her. 
I'm always positioning it in her escape because otherwise she'll backstep into us and a lot of players don't ever, it's a very uncomfortable feeling clicking your mouse to go towards us when we're so threatening, so. That guy's dead. Master Yi was bot side somewhere. I have my ultimate already back up, wow. That was pretty fast. So I'm gonna wait for my teammate to die. I can't save him by any means, so I'm just gonna wait for Master Yi to start rotating over to me. I need his ultimate to expire. I ulti it away from him. We're just playing it kind of relaxed. I know the ultimate doesn't last forever, so... Even though he might have flashed on top of us to try to keep it going, we're not going to allow that. I think a Banshee's Veil is going to be huge. I don't want to, for some reason, throw this entire game away just because I get Flash Tibbered or something. That would uh, be really dumb. Or like a Flash Nautilus, whatever. And it's more reliable to have a Banshee's. So they have to proc it rather than Zhonya's because I can't really Zhonya's a Tibbers reliably or if I get hit by a Nautilus Hook. Not a Nautilus Hook. Well... His ultimate, I'd rather be able to reposition myself, hopefully, rather than Zhonya's, which will keep me in place. Why are they bought? Okay. Because they're bought, we can just uh, shove this out and then hopefully try to start the objective. We can at least, like, poke them on the way in or turn... Nocturne's pretty disgusting at, uh, causing really confusing moments with his ultimate. I'll use my E here to get bonus attack speed. That guy's just dead. My double W did, like, a thousand damage there because it procced it, so. No time to risk. Banshees... Banshees will also give us a little bit of CDR, which is pretty nice, so it will be even easier to continue proccing it. It's up to 500 damage on this. I think Plasma also gets applied to the damage, so Plasma has its own EP ratio. So because this uh, gives three stacks of Plasma, we just add three stacks of Plasma of damage to the W as well. I want to make sure that I land it. He should be dead here. As you can see, half HP. Use the ultimate again. Whenever I miss this, though, it's pretty bad. I'm just going to have to let my teammate die here, sadly. I missed again. Did they kill that guy? Nice. I'm just gonna do this. I don't have ultimate, so repositioning versus Yi is a little bit unrealistic. So I don't even want him to have the potential to cue me, so if he starts running at me, I'll just run away. He's going for Dragon, but he dies for it. We might be able to get a lot of stuff because we just got that too. In fact, I'm going to base and then TP back. Because we should just take bot and hib at this point. I want to buy my Banshees here. That will help out a lot. It also is another Mythic item with our Ludens giving us more Magic Pen. And let's just fish for Ws. All it takes is two W's to kill the Ravens, so... <laughs> Wait, how did that miss? Okay, I'll just kill Annie here with this guy. Let's kill the Tibbers as well. It's actually really good that I killed them, because the thing is Tibbers might have chased down my Varus and killed them otherwise. I was hoping to land that on him. Anyways, that's the end of the game. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the commentary on playing AP Kaisa. Uh, inside of like Platinum Elo. Hmm.
my neck feels so stiff right now. So yeah, AP Kaisa, super fun uh, champion that really turns online once you finish that two core. As you can see, that's when the W spam really can uh, start working. And we were able to basically two shot Draven even before we were really that fed. Uh, when we didn't even have our Ludens yet, I believe. Around uh, the Rift Herald is the first time that I did it to him when I died to Annie. So you turn online really fast and then you're from then on it just becomes more and more and more insane so i'll give it a nocturne so gg did the most damage 25 minute game wish it was a little bit longer my win rate is still negative <sighs> this climb is gonna take a while probably depending on what i play i guess i'm pretty comfortable and stuff like that so thanks for watching once again guys uh if you enjoy it Drop a like, leave a comment about what you guys want to see next, and I will see you all inside of the next video.